I give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yo, it's your boy. Trying to fight back with another reaction. Do you got plot for the spares? Interview, bro. I don't even know this nigga even had that. Maybe I saw this shit on my recommended. This shit came out three days ago. How the fuck did this nigga do an interview? <laughs> what the fuck? That's what's up, heavy. Let's get it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have you been doing anything like reading or anything like that while you in there or nah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on, man. Nigga's really that long. Hold on. Look, hold on. You got a book? Show me a book. That nigga got a book. That nigga got a book. That motherfucker. That's a dictionary. What's the name of this book? I don't read me. It's probably some kid book. There's a magical horse this shit, on here. This shit by like the government. Yo, 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 it's your boy Hakeem, and you are watching Our Generation Music. And today, man, I have probably one of the rarest interviews to bring y'all. My boy Glock 40 Spaz. Man, what's up, my boy? Whoa. How the fuck is you doing that shit? Yeah. This is the first interview I've ever done with an artist, you know, behind bars or, you know, someone being locked up. But this is definitely interesting. Um, I think this is legendary. Um, how you been though, yeah. man? How you been holding your head and everything? Yeah, really not been focusing on my music, you know. God, I'm really just been chilling. I ain't been doing too much, bro. I feel that. Um, you know, it's crazy right now. Like, you're damn near the one of the hottest topic right now in the underground. For sure. Like, you know, your name is buzzing. The music's buzzing. People are constantly posting you. I'm constantly seeing people post and talk about you. There's a lot of discussion about you right now. You know, with all that going on, you know, how does it feel, you know, receiving all that? You think watching The Matrix that, in the back? You know, notoriety. Hold on. I forgot all of, I didn't forget, but I forgot. I haven't watched that shit in a minute. Seeing people post and talk about you. There's a lot of discussion about you right now. That nigga now. was working you know, out on the niggas in the back. On, you know, that nigga was fucking him up. How does it feel, you know, receiving all that praise and all that, you know, notoriety while behind bars? Yeah, I really just, um, I appreciate my fans, you know. You know, um, support me while I'm locked up, going through this hard time. You know, I really don't get to see everything. You take her in, how I, I could if I was out to me, but we hearing about everything. So I'm just appreciative. That's it. For you. That's amazing. If there's if there's one thing you one thing right now you could tell your fans, what would it be? I got hella unreleased music. <laughs> Drop no, that so shit, wait, nigga. Um, you know, one thing about you too, like you've been putting out like mad music and videos and everything. Um, did you like record and do all that, you know, prior to going in and knowing like, yo, I need to have stuff to drop while I'm locked up and everything? Yeah, I really just like, yeah, that's crazy. Because I know some, when I was at some show, I lock in, bro. Like, you need to you need to go crazy. Like, I, I had the job. I quit that shit, bro. Just to to my mom, bro. I just start really like going to the. Studio. He said he told his mom he was on rap. That nigga connection is doo doo. We know why though, cause I, you know damn well they ain't giving them niggas no A one wet Wi Fi. To my mom, bro. I just start really like going to the. Studio. Mm. So you, you you said you had quit your job and just really focused on the music? Yeah, yeah, I had um, I had to quit my job because it ain't me like that. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, no, it's crazy Trust because me. it's like, you know, as as much as you, you know, you're locked up and everything, you've been able to really keep your momentum going with a lot of new drops and just like videos and really keeping your fans engaged. Yeah. So what what have you been doing? You know, like it, while you've been you know inside and everything, what have you been doing? Because you know, judging from your music, I know you don't write. It's definitely punch in vibes. Have you been switched over yeah. to writing and shit now? I ain't writing. I ain't. That's it. That shit just. I, Cause I just punch in so like get mad because I can't record. Mm. So I do like I'm. I'm taking everything in. I do get out. 
นี่คือมันจะโอเคมันให้เวลา So you've just been storing everything <laughs> mentally in your brain. And they got a whole bunch of fucking files in there. Instead of actually writing it out. Everything up here, man. And they got more fucking hard drive. What have you been doing there? You know, what have you been doing to really escape there? And there, you've been reading or like playing, you know, basketball, working out. What you been doing? Yeah, I've been hooping. You know what I'm saying? You getting buckets in there, nigga? <laughs> no, that's crazy. That's hey, talking to the females, to talking, get to in there. talking to the females, talking to your partner. Like been crossing niggas up yeah. in jail. I don't know if you've been watching basketball, but John Morant might end up in there with you too. You might, you might have a nice teammate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, John crazy. He needed to. Chill. That boy John funny as hell, man. Um, yeah, so one of the coolest things, you know, and he had this for a minute. That he had to. to you, I think, was D Savage in an interview with Kids Take Over. You know, he 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 loved that you fucked with him, and you know, like you him gave him his flowers. I think I watched that. Being somebody that you know, you're inspired by him and everything. Um, talk a little bit about you know yeah. that moment, and you know, having someone that you looked up to really recognize you and your talents. n o t that's it. Fired. You know, really, when I was a kid, like right, before I was rapping, thinking about rapping, like, I was on D Savage real. So just the fact that you know, you know, real recognize real. You know, he fuck with me, I fuck with. Definitely got to do something together for sure. Up, yeah. That should be hot. You know, he used it real hard. You know, what I'm saying? that's like, he the reason I really wanted to rap. That's fire! I can't wait for you to get out so you guys can work together, man. That's gonna be amazing. Yeah, we're gonna go real crazy. You know, your style-wise, right? You know, I feel like you have such a u- super unique, like um, it's like rapid fire, like a flow, like it's so fire. It's different. It's, like, it's real going different. And yeah. Going and going. Like, where did that flow come about, and how did you realize, like, yo, you had something there and something that was different and unique to you? Well, really, like that that D Savage part, like I really was doing auto tune. I was proud of that. And then I start, I tried out the route, and I'm like, yeah, this shit. I really just, you know, I mean, I just, I don't know. I feel like I can hear, so I know I'm good and we're done. I'm good, you know, s t i l Um, nah, yeah, I feel like that's one of the things that um, stuck out to me about you was just your flow, and it's crazy too. Like beat selection wise, like you don't really stick to one sound. You kind of like rap on everything. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm g o i n g everything. I'm not just gonna rap on one type of beat. I'm just gonna try everything because you never know you can rap on a whole different type of bring out a whole. That's amazing, man. I knew he was trying to figure out what that nigga said. I knew he was thinking. Cause if I didn't have these motherfucking subtitles on here, bro, breaking up. Look at this nigga's face. He trying to think. That's amazing. <laughs> What do you feel like, inspiration-wise? Like, you know, um, you know. It's not bro's fault, man. Savage, but who are some of your other inspiration that you have? I listen to niggas, but niggas, like, I ain't just finna just give niggas like flowers. Like I just walk with it. I do my own thing, f a m i l Yeah. You know what I'm saying I really just, my inspiration really be like my partner. Just, mm. He's better to like be better. Hmm. I feel that. See it right there. So you know, you just released Glock Files, you know, which had a bunch of like your old fan favorites on there, to name a few: Batman, uh, Be Right Back, Choose Violence, and Remember. Remember is honestly my favorite. Song I choose violence. It's probably uh, my favorite. What was it like, you know, giving your fans that and giving them that project? I know that's something that they very much wanted. See, really, that was like you know. Cause I'm really like, my shit w o u l be more m o r up than it was out. So it's really like great. Like, like if somebody knew her, that's something that I would want them to hear. Mm. 
you know, so. Yeah. So you said if someone, you really wanted to, if somebody new got introduced to your music, that's what you wanted to lead with and let them know who you are. Yeah, like, yeah, like that's my best song, you know what I'm saying? I want them to hear them because they're the most popular. You know, another thing too is, you know, you have a core group of producers you really work with. El Al Trapo, Sensei, OK, Forever, and Chris Clay. You know, how did you connect with all these guys? They're probably all from Atlanta, right? Well, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I do who the fuck the ring? Someone else trying to get Glocks. They work together, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas is crazy. Them I really met Al Chopper. I got my. He put it to my career, you know what I'm saying? Pushed up on me. And I've been about since. So when I linked up with Al Chopper, we put a song at my house. And I ain't linked with him for like. And I pushed back up on him. And Damn. And they was at Chopper House. So then we just all just start working. We just like, we got to work, but like, and then forever, you know, you know he, he like 13, 14. I think he fit now, but, but when he started sending me beats and he said, it's crazy. Like I had no, he was, so I caught him. And I don't little, know who he's talking about. I think it was like 13, 14, making these hard ass beats. Mm. I just thought that was crazy. That's so, yeah, cool. really. That's fire, man. It's dope. It's it's always dope when an artist has like a good core group of producers he could work with and they can make magic together. Um, always a good thing. I don't know what producers um, you talking about. You know, there's there's a lot of like inf conflicting like information right now about like just how old you are and where are you from. Like, do you want to just clear the ear air with that? Yeah, I'm from the cap, George. We obviously from Atlanta, right? Yeah, honey. I'm 19 years old. I'm finna be 20. I'm finna be 20 years old, August. August what? I'm born in August too. I'm August 15th. Nigga, but not say the same day. I'm August 27th. 15th. You August 15th? You a Leo? Yeah, I'm a Leo. Leo gang. Yeah, we're for Leo. I'm August 29th. I was about to say, nigga, 29th. I'm 27. Leo gang, man. Hey, also too, there's, you know, there's a lot, there's this old clips of you and Sofago going around on social media right now. How did you guys get connected? He hit me up on like, um, I deserve recognition and shit like that. I'm going crazy, so we just, he been doing his thing. How you been, uh, you know, talking to the homies, Baby Solid and everything, and everyone else in EBG? Yeah, that's my brother. I gotta keep in contact with That's what's up. Have you been doing anything like reading or anything like that while you're in there or no? Nah? Here. <laughs> I did one book. Hold on. You got a book? Show me a book, man. I love that. Oh, that must have been like a clip. What's the name of this book? I don't read it. There's a magical horse is on here. I don't know what the book is. I like the government. It's he about the government? I think it probably yeah. read like two pages out of that hoe. What's the name of it? Behold a pair of horse. Be behold a pair of horse. Behold a pale horse. Behold a pair of pale horse. Okay, bet. Yeah. What, are you, what have you been learning from that book? Not a damn you know, thing. I'm going to be like, fucking us over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You almost got you almost got read that hoe. You already you should just already know that. All the secrets they be keeping from us and shit. Like clothes and Wow, that's fine. Who recommended that book for you? Um somebody my mom got it for me. Some one of your partners there got it for you? No, I said somebody had got it in here. And then my mom had got it for me. Oh, somebody in there told you about it. Yeah. That's fire. Have, do niggas know you rap in there? Like, have you kept on the raps or people know that you Glock 40? Man, these niggas be saying that. 
They just stand out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. How does that work in your benefit in jail, though? Like, do you get extra fucking food, ramen noodles from niggas because they fanned out, or what? What is? How does that help you? Ready? I bet you niggas be trying. They probably do be annoying. Niggas be trying to rap to him and shit. Watch, he better say. It's it. really annoying. It's annoying. Do niggas but be asking like, you for features in there? Man, these niggas be on that weird shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Give an example. You need- like, bro, I can't, like, eat. These niggas be staring at me. <laughs> Damn. Niggas just staring at me. I can't do fans. nothing. You can't do nothing? Yo, it's funny as fuck. Wow. Niggas be on that weird shit. Nah, How did they find out funny. you were in Glock 40? Just, like, the first day you were in there, niggas knew? Um, I ain't gonna cap, though. Like, you know my shit, like, the more my shit been going up for Longer I've been locked up, shit been getting weirder. Damn. These niggas just been like, like, hold up. Like, these niggas act like they know me. They act like they know you? Yeah, they be acting like they know me. Nah, I see, yeah. Damn. I, just, I don't like to talk to these niggas, because when these niggas get out, they be like, oh. I was in the room with Spaz. Oh, wow. <laughs> I really be saying to myself. So, is there any more plans to put out any more music while you're locked up? Because, you know, you just put out the new project. How long is he going to be locked up for, bro? Oh, yeah, I got an album coming out. August, September. August, September? August, September, took the biggest risk. Okay, do you know the coming name of this? Coming out, it's going to be my hardest album. Took the biggest risk. To the biggest rest. Took, yeah, the, took the biggest risk, yeah. Took the biggest rest. How'd you come up with that? What did that mean? See, we took a bunch of risks just to talk about what I be talking about. I feel that. And this is something you recorded, obviously, when, you know, before you went in. Like, what's the process been like getting together all those songs to put out? Um, it wasn't hard, you know. I got a lot of music going on since the ATF, so... Everything's just like, I got, I got, like, I got, uh, we really just getting rid of all the old shit by putting out new shit. You see? So he, has he just been calling you and playing you the music over the phone? Because I'm sure you don't remember all the music you recorded. Yeah. That's fire, man. Yeah, I hear it over the phone. How many songs is going to be on this project? 16, 15. I was going to say 15. I was about to say okay, Any features or anything like that? The pen. Duop Kane, also, you know, someone you worked with, he, uh, speaking of features, um, he got on the remix of Dangerous Actors. How did you meet up and link up with the, um, you know, the SoundCloud legend, the young goat? Um, that my, bro. But I just walked in the house one day. This nigga Duop was sitting on the couch. Uh-huh. I think I heard a song for him. This nigga was just chilling. I'm like, bro, I look back at my pot, I'm like, bro, that doo This nigga like, who? Like, doo Kane, nigga. doo Kane. That's when I had shot that um Home Alone video. Home Alone, that's the first person I met him. Oh, okay, bet. We would have been locked in ever since. Yeah, no, doo I've known doo since he was a kid, man. It's crazy to see where he's at and everything. Um, have you been watching any movies or anything like that while you've been in there? Or like, what, what's, what's the Oh, yeah, yeah, crazy with the movies. Huh? I've been watching hella movies. So, what, what do you have planned for the rest of the night? What's a day by day for you? Nigga said playing for the rest of the night, like, <laughs> hold on, bro. In there. Like, he, he about day to go. Day by day, o'clock. Go to the store and eat some food. You know what I'm saying? Eat, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they, I'll eat the tray. I ain't too bougie to eat the tray. I'm gonna eat the tray. You gonna eat the tray? What does that mean? Going to get eat what eat, they eat the tray? Eat what they serving? Serving? That makes sense, right? So you said you eat the tray. What do you what do you mean by that? Are you first get in here? You ain't gonna eat. When you well, be first, you like ugh, like when you like you just came from the street, like you just eat Zaxby's. Yeah, you ain't gonna eat. That you just eat good shit for like give you got weenies and beanies and shit. You're not going to eat that shit. But then when you like really... When niggas really start getting hungry.
Shit, anything like, goes. Be up in it, be you gonna like, I, like, Man, I'm glad that you know you you keeping your head high, and you know nah, you he look, thing, yeah. thinking about positive things you're reading. Uh, I'm sure you've been working out and shit, doing your push-ups and everything every day. Yeah, flex the muscles, twin. Yeah. <laughs> Man, is there? <laughs> You gotten any fights or anything in there yet? You be oh yeah, most definitely. You beat some niggas up already? Oh, most definitely. I'm not going, not going like that. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, most well, definitely. I gotta, I gotta put on for that. Oh yeah. Gotta put on for that. We usually do this to close it out and everything. What is your message for our generation? Okay, my message to my generation is: be yourself. Chase your dream. Don't let don't let nobody tell you you can't do what you want to do. And all right. Glock, yeah. I appreciate you so much, my boy. I right, appreciate y'all. Love you, bro. Stay up, man. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, share video. It was a good ass interview. I mean, it sucks that my bro didn't have obviously ain't gonna have the best internet, but. We understood some of the shit he was saying. Most of the shit, actually. He didn't say when he was getting out. I guess he don't know, really. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm okay. I get me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah.